What's up guys, so today I'm going to be walking you through how to fix the um, issues that people have been having with the update for 1.04 for Cyberpunk. Um, they just launched this update out today and it seems like a lot of people are having issues with it. I was able to eventually figure it out and now I'm able to run the game with no issues so far. Alright, so uh, what's happening with a lot of you guys is you're probably clicking up here to hit play and then I'm assuming that it is crashing for you and you're getting a notification somewhere up here saying that you have a flat line for the launch for Cyberpunk 2077 and it might ask you if you like want to report the issue or whatever. Um, so that's probably what a lot of you guys are experiencing. So the first step you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your GeForce driver, go over to the drivers tab here, and then you will see here that there's been a new update. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and download this. And then once you download it, you are going to see that there's this tab here that says express installation. Go ahead and click that after, and you should have the newest update for this driver installed. Alright, so once you guys have had your drivers updated and installed, you're going to want to go to your Steam library here, and you're going to go over to Cyberpunk 2077. You're going to hate this part, but you're going to have to go to Manage, Uninstall the game, and then you're going to have to go ahead and reinstall the game. And this is all I had to do after I updated the driver, and it worked perfectly fine for me. So hopefully it does the same for you guys. Um, if that problem does, or if that solution does not fix your problem, what you guys could try doing, right clicking on Cyberpunk again, um, after you've installed it, go ahead and go to properties, and then you can try going to local files, and then verify integrity of game files. Um, I've heard that this has worked for a few people, so you guys can go through the steps that I went through. If this doesn't work, go ahead and try this and see if it works for you. And as you guys can see here, um, after going through all those steps, I was able to get the game to run again. So hopefully it does the same thing for you guys. Uh, please leave a comment, let me know if it worked for you. Um, or if it didn't work, maybe me or someone else can help you figure that out if you leave something in the comments. Thanks guys.